Hello guys, I hope you all are doing well. So I get asked a lot of questions about the jobs in the UK and whether it is worth coming to the UK this year. So I thought maybe I should make a video on this topic. When I came to the UK in 2021, I believe there wasn't a lot of uncertainty uh, in comparison to how things are relatively difficult because of all the recent changes in the visa rules and everything else that is happening globally. Watch this video till the end as I explain things in great detail. As always, hit the like button if you found this video helpful and definitely subscribe to my channel. If you're going to subscribe to my channel, then I will stay motivated and I will keep on bringing useful videos for you all. Is it worth coming to the UK this year? I think there's no yes or no answer to this question because the journey of every single international student will be different. I'm pretty sure if you talk to three people, then you're going to get three different answers and which is absolutely fine and fair because everyone is going to tell you things based on their personal journey and personal experiences. At the same time, it is very, very important to stay realistic about what is happening with regards to the visa rule changes in the UK and how it could potentially affect you as an international student. I'm going to divide this video into four parts are some of the changes that have taken place in the UK or what's happening in the UK. In case you don't know this already, the recent government in the UK has increased the salary thresholds for the skilled worker visa which is now £38,700 per year. Earlier it used to be £26,200 per year so you can see that there is quite an increase in the salary thresholds. So what this means is that if you want a sponsored job in the UK, as in you want a company or an organization to sponsor you as a skilled worker uh, to stay and work in the UK, then you need a minimum salary of £38,700 in order to stay and work in the UK. Now this seems like an impossible thing if you are a recent graduate and you don't have a lot of prior experience. Sometimes people who do have some uh, experience also find it difficult to get the jobs. So that is definitely a negative thing about the UK right now and you must keep in mind before coming to the UK this year. The job market in the UK is also becoming a bit saturated now because of so many reasons including the global wars and the global tensions. So you need to be very resilient and patient when it comes to the job hunting process. PSW or the graduate route visa will allow you to stay in the UK and look for the jobs for two years but after it expires you need this commonly held visa which I just mentioned skill worker visa in order to continue your stay in the UK but as I just mentioned with all the recent changes it is becoming a bit difficult now. So how do these changes could affect you as an international student as in in terms of jobs and the stay back after graduation let's say you want to look for research assistant jobs after you graduate with a master's degree in the uk the average salary of research assistants in the uk like the entry level jobs basically it is between 27 to 29 thousand pounds per year actually it depends a lot on the project sometimes when a project has a lot of funding you might be paid more but when there's less funding you might be paid less now let's say you have been very lucky but hardworking as well and you have got the job as a RA so you're thinking okay I'm going to work as a research assistant for two years and then after my PSW visa expires I'm going to switch to a different visa such as a skilled worker visa now uh, you have to remember that getting a salary of 38,700 pounds per year would be very very difficult to work as a research assistant uh, sorry with uh, with just two years of uh, experience usually you need four to five years of experience in order to get a salary of 38,700 pounds per year uh, in research so that is not a good thing about the UK right now I think it is not just about research but in other jobs as well I think it would be really difficult to get a salary of at least 38,000 pounds per year so you have to understand this thing you have to keep this thing in your mind however there's an exception to this 38,000 700 uh, pounds salary in a year and let me show you this is as you can see that i'm on the official website of the immigration department of the uk government and if you keep scrolling you can see when you can be paid less so basically you can apply for a skilled worker visa even if your salary is not at least 38,700 pounds so even if you have a salary of 30,960 pounds per year you can still get a skilled worker visa but you need to meet one of the following criteria first is that you need to be under 26 years of age you need to be a student or at least a recent graduate from one of the uk universities the second condition is that you need to have a stem phd basically a phd in science technology engineering or mathematics 
and the third is that you need to have a postdoctoral position in science or higher education postdoctoral position if you don't know it's basically a position that you hold after you complete your phd and this is another your job is on the immigration salary list so the immigration salary list is a list of skilled jobs which have lower salary requirements and again you can get a skilled worker visa even if your salary is not 38000 pounds per year but even if you have 30960 pounds in a year so they have basically extended on the previous conditions that we have just seen you need to be under 26 years of age you need to be currently in a uh, in the uk on a student visa studying either bachelor's degree or a master's degree uh, you need to be currently in the uk on a graduate visa and uh, you'll be working towards a recognized qualification uh, i don't think that's very much relevant for international students i'm i'm not very sure you'll be working towards full registration in the job you're being sponsored for basically you you should be working full time for that job uh, but it's very important that uh, your total stay in the uk cannot be more than four years if you apply for any of these conditions that are mentioned above and that also includes uh, your time that you spent in the uk on a graduate route visa so basically these are the conditions and this is one of the scenarios that exist uh, for the skill worker visa where even if you don't have a salary of 38,700 pounds in a year you can still get a skilled worker visa but i'm not very sure how straightforward or easy this process is but it's worth mentioning that this route exists talking about financial considerations and the quality of education suppose you have got an offer from one of the top universities in the uk it could be a dream college as well but keep in mind the financial considerations and the quality of education as well every year tuition fees of international students increases because this is one of the major income sources of universities in the UK. Right now, you can even see on your screens that the income from their international students' fees accounts for about 23% of the total income across the Russell Group universities. If you don't know which universities are the Russell Group universities, then have a look at this. Can be a bit much considering the financial burden students go through by taking education loans because international students end up paying at least two to three times more than the students who are UK citizens or permanent residents. Now talking about the quality of education, this is becoming a rather common experience among students, both domestic and international, that uh, the experience of students in UK universities feels now a bit more like checking off your to-do list. Uh, see this article in The Guardian where students are sharing their experiences in UK universities and their different attitudes towards their programs, towards their degrees. And by attitudes, I don't mean positive or good experiences or attitudes necessarily. Students don't seem to be very happy with the way things are running in the universities, where they feel like they're just given the readings and they're doing the submissions or giving the exams, where the support from the department and the interactions with the professors is not a priority. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not criticizing the universities at all but it feels like uh, the higher education in the UK has become very commercial it's like more of a business now where a major chunk of the money comes from international students this final point is something I believe we don't talk about much it is not just about coming to the UK but wherever you go for your higher education do not underestimate uh, or ignore the fact that you're going to be away from your family your friends and your home there's so much you're going to miss out special occasions uh, festivals, your friends' weddings, and much more. Yes, getting an international exposure is very important. It can be life-changing, and there's so much that you learn, not just professionally, but you also grow as a person. Basically, it means that you also grow personally. I believe I am so much different than I used to be back in 2021. I've grown so much professionally as well as personally. But keep in mind that you will be away from your home, your family, and your friends, and think through what is more important to you as a person because as I always say that everyone is different, everyone's priorities are different and everyone's journey is also very very different. Okay guys that is all I wanted to say in this video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, comment below if you have any questions or send me an email or send a DM on Instagram. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. Hit the like button as always and definitely subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Until then take care and stay happy.